hey what up decisive marketers so today's video took me some time to prepare because this tool is so feature rich and um, um, i'm so glad that this tool came along because ever since pablo um, left there was a huge gap in the social media scheduling uh, tools right uh, and i i know that a lot of people who don't have pablo um, just kind of missed out uh, big time and but um, the good news for you guys who have missed out um, this too uh, is a good alternative is a good um, you know <laughs> it's gonna fill up your gap uh, because this too has quite a bit of features that Pablo has um, and uh, um, this too is called social web suit right but before I dive into social web suit be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content so here we are in social web suit so once you sign up for social web suit right what happens is that you, uh, you have to you know connect your social media profiles right and uh, connect your websites or a RSS feed now, uh, social profiles wise, um, they allow, uh, they support just Facebook, Twitter, uh, Inst uh, Instagram, and uh, LinkedIn right now. Okay, so there you go. Um, it's just the Twitter profile, uh, Facebook page, Facebook group, LinkedIn profile, LinkedIn page, and Instagram profile. So uh, Facebook profile does not work uh, with any social media scheduling tools at all because uh, Facebook does not allow automation of your Facebook profile, right? So these are the ones, okay, that is allowed uh, for you to uh, do scheduling of. Okay, so uh, with the social media profiles right and then what happens is that uh, you can connect your website so uh, you can connect your WordPress websites uh, I have connected mine right here so you can see this tab here with the social media uh, social web suit client um, you got to uh, install the plugin uh, from the WordPress plugin repository called social web suit right once you install that uh, you log into your social web suit account it will then be synced with your WordPress website right here okay and uh, once you connect with your WordPress website it's going to pull in all your post categories right um, it's only going to schedule your posts into your social media uh, profiles so it's going to pull out your content categories that means your your, your blog posts uh, categories so these are the ones that I have it's pull out all this uh, content uh, this categories right here and uh, you can also connect your RSS feed so you can connect any kind of other websites that is not uh, limited to just your website itself uh, you can also connect your YouTube channels right so one thing that I find uh, social web suit is slightly easier to connect than uh, Pablo is that with Pablo you've got to uh, <coughs> generate your YouTube uh, RSS feed URL then pull out those uh, information uh, I mean insert that link into Pablo for it to pull out all the uh, videos that you've created but with uh, you with uh, social web suit right you can uh, easily uh, you know just insert your YouTube channel URL right here it's going to pull out your, all your content from it okay and uh, feed of course it's very easy just put in the uh, RSS feed URL and you will have that and you can uh, add those uh, content into a particular content category right here I just put it in YouTube right okay so um, once you have these done you might want to then set up your UTM parameters so just click on add new you'll be able to set uh, your you know a, a, a preset UTMs right so you can create multiple preset UTMs maybe one for like gen generic social media sharing one for uh, you know promotions right so you can set those different UTM parameters in here right uh, and then you can name your UTM uh, text right here so just put in like the UTM source campaign medium content and term right and then you'll be able to save them and whenever you schedule them you will then be able to select the UTM parameters uh, when you uh, 
share your post. So whenever there's a link, this UTM parameters will be added into that URL so that you can track them on Google Analytics and see how your conversion uh, is doing. Right? Uh, so once you have connected your websites or your RSS feed, what happens is that social web should automatically uh, create, uh, your, basically schedule your entire um, social media uh, calendar right here right so uh, you can uh, if uh, you can also add additional posting time or remove the ones right here these are just automatically um, created from uh, from uh, you know social web suit itself right so if you want to add more you can do so right here right, you can choose what category is it going to pull out the content from right and then um, which day time uh, or weekdays every day uh, weekends and is it going to be one time or it's going to uh, repeat over and over again right and next you have your analytics so you will be able to see all your social media um, analytics uh, so your social media statistics right here right how many followers friends favorites uh, and tweets that you have okay and um, the next one is that you have this content approval so for content approval so you what happens is that this uh, this when you um, set up your post here these are you know not going to be posted yet it's more like in draft mode okay and when you schedule any post uh, when you when you schedule any post right okay um, what happens is that um, you can sorry so you can schedule them so when you schedule them it goes into content approval right uh, and you can uh, with with social web so right now you can only add photos and gifs so no videos uh, no stories and stuff like that and uh, you can schedule your uh, posts from here and then you can select your UTM parameters right so content approval will be those that are scheduled but not posted yet okay so that you can review them before you approve them for posting so lastly um, would be um, I forgot to cover is for the Facebook group of course um, you have to install the Facebook group app right the social web so Facebook group app and how you do that is just jump into group settings so you got to be the admin of the group first right and then you can scroll down all the way in here and under apps you can then add uh, the social web suit app I right? just click on add apps and search for it and you'll be able to add it in here right and that's pretty much um, what social web suit does okay uh, with the uh, WordPress plugin you will then be able to schedule to your social media profile right and uh, whether you have to show the feature image or not all right and then any uh, add any hashtags uh, these this will be the message format so this is how it looks like so the the post is then going to be uh, you know title and then URL something like that so if you want to change that right you can create your own here and you can create multiple different templates to be shared as well right so you can just click on the plus button you can have multiple different uh, messages that uh, will be used to schedule on your social media and you can set uh you know how many times is it going to be shared right so you can put a number to it as well so that is um all for social web suit so overall i think that social web suit is actually a very good um option if you missed out on Pablo. the uh, one thing that i find is that the um Social web suit is uh, able to uh, with with that feature that I just shared with you right over here, right? Creating that custom message templates with Pablo, you can't really do that, but you got to you know reuse your old post uh, to do so. So 
that is a little bit diff uh, that is uh, with social web so it's slightly more automated than uh, popular in this particular aspect itself but with popular is more like an all-in-one tool right you have your canva and vista create uh, integration right so you can design uh, your post instantly within uh, Pablo itself and uh, schedule it but with uh, social web suit right now it is not able to do so as it does not have uh, any of this design to integrations uh, within uh, social web suit itself right uh, and of course Pablo has more social media channels that you can publish to with uh, social web so you don't have that but I think that uh, the core of social web so is very um, powerful they have the concept in there where it's more a WordPress based uh, tool that pushes out your content into social media right so that's more of their idea here but it also has RSS feed uh, connection so that you can you know uh, not just share your own content but share other people's content or content from podcasts or YouTube channels uh, of yours or other people's as well right so you can then easily fill up your social media calendar um, and uh, one thing beautiful about it is that it automatically adds in uh, it automatically fills up your calendar for you you just need to uh, you know connect them right and it, it randomly pulls up uh, posts and schedule them for you right otherwise um, I think that overall is a great value uh, because you know it fills up a, a huge gap if you're looking for a powerful uh, social media scheduling too uh, they do have to add more channels uh, like I said social web suits core is very strong but uh, they do then need to expand on more integrations and more features to uh, you know make this a very powerful social media scheduling too right so that's all I have to share about uh, social web suit let me know what you think about it in the comments below if you know anyone who could benefit from a social media automation or scheduling too be sure to share this video with them and lastly if you enjoyed this video do give me a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next video